Hi and welcome to this video to help you make a horn that makes a noise. So you'll need a few things, some card, uh, a straw, uh, some scissors, some tape and some glue. You won't be able to signal for many miles but it'll still make a noise and it's a great activity to do. So once, all you've, got, once you've got all your stuff together then the first thing you need to do is to fold the piece of paper in half on the short edge and mark where the middle of it is. That means that you can then fold a triangle from the two opposite edges and then you can cut along the triangle. When you cut the triangle make sure you don't cut exactly along the edges of the triangle. Leave a little bit extra and that will make a flap that you can then put the glue on and that makes it easier to fold into a cone. And put glue down one side of the triangle, one of the long sides. Once you have your cone made you need to trim it because it will be uneven round the top. You can do that with a pair of scissors. If you need to reinforce the seam, the bit where the papers meet, you can put a line of tape up there too. The next thing to do is to make the nozzle, the squeaky bit, and that's where your straw comes in. You need to flatten the edges of the straw, so instead of being round, it's all squidged down. If you can get a good crease using your scissors, that helps. And then you can just cut another triangle on the end of the straw. Simple as that. It looks a little bit like a mouth. Once you've cut the mouth bit, the pointy bit on the end of one part of the straw, you can cut that free from the rest of the straw. Depending on how long you cut it, you might find an interesting effect. Once you've got your mouthpiece, then cut off the really thin bit on the end of the card cone that you made so that you can fit the mouthpiece inside and then use some tape to hold the mouthpiece in place. Make sure you don't breathe in when you're playing. You don't want to suck that mouthpiece down your throat. That would be really bad. Once it's all stuck together, then you can start to play. In order to play the horn, you need to put the folded area inside your mouth with your lips down about where it meets the paper on this one and squeeze your lips together and blow. You'll feel a vibration as these parts here are banging off each other and making the sound waves. By changing the pressure between your lips, that's pushing down or harder or softer, you can change the note it makes. Or something like that. Once you've made your first horn, or even before, you might want to decorate the horn so it can look exceptionally cool and impress your friends and enemies. So you could just do zigzaggy lines or paint something awesome on it and that would be great. But if you want to make a regular design you can use one of the pieces that you cut off to work like a ruler. Because if you mark the sides then when you roll the paper round, the sides will match up. If you'd like some help thinking of a design, well, why not do a battle, one of the famous victories from your history? Or you could do a great dragon, and maybe the horn can be used for summoning dragons from afar. Anyway, once you've done your designs, then roll it up into a cone. It's much easier to draw on it when it's flat. But if you want to test out what it looks like, you can bend it around temporarily and then unbend it. Now it's time to play your new horn. <coughs> so, that's kind of a squeaky horn, which is cool. But if you don't want your horn to squeak as much, then there's something you can do. 
Do you want to know what the secret is? The straw in this one is about that long. The straw in this one is only about that long. So the longer the straw you have, uh, the lower the average note is going to be. But still, changing the pressure on your lips can make it higher or lower too. If you squeeze too hard, it stops all the air flowing and it doesn't work at all. Which note would you want to announce yourself in if you're coming into a battle? Or, I wonder if this works. How many of your friends could you get to make these? How much noise could you make? You could start a whole band. Your mum and dad will love you.